Thank you, Chairman Chotz. On behalf of the Ute Mountain Ute Tribe, thank you for the opportunity to provide testimony on Senate Bill 2385, Tribal Access to Clean Water Act of 2023. One of the most significant issues facing the tribe today is access to reliable, clean drinking water. Without reliable, clean drinking water, the Ute Mountain Ute people cannot sustain their sovereign right to self-sufficiency and to self-government. The funding made available through the Tribal Access to Clean Water Act of 2023 is crucial to ensuring the tribe has access to reliable, clean drinking water and is necessary first to step to meeting with the United States the treaty obligation and trust responsibility to Ute Mountain Ute people. Despite our tribe's contemporary success in developing irrigation systems and award-winning farming operations, it is still the case 101 years after making these comments that the Ute Mountain Ute people remain without federal support for adequate supply of water, I am here today to remind the United States of its obligations once again to the Ute Mountain Ute people and to collect on the promise made long ago to Chief Ignacio and all the Ute Mountain Utes. The Ute Mountain Utes' sovereign lands are in the states of Colorado, New Mexico, and Utah, magnifying the issues of access to clean water threefold. The tribe faces unique issues related to access of a reliable clean water source of drinking water on its reservation lands in each of the states. I'd like to address two of the states. Access to clean water in, in Utah and in Colorado. Although the three negotiations and settlement claims for its federal reserve rights in Colorado in 2000, the tribe remains unable to access critical water resources due to lack of water infrastructure. 24 years later, as you may know, the Colorado Ute Settlement Act of 2000 guaranteed the Ute people 16,525 acres feet of water for the, from the Animus Plata Project ALP at Lake Nighthorse. However, year after year, the tribe has been unable to access its water due to the lack of water infrastructure connecting the ALP project to the tribe's reservation lands. Although the tribe has spent significant time and resources to develop access to its water and ALP. The tribe cannot do without financial assistance from the federal government. The funding that would be able to be available as part of Senate Bill 2385, both for technical assistance and for the development, use and control of water and the installation of essential community facilities and necessary related equipment is cru crucial for the advancement for the federal government's treaty obligation as trust responsibility to Ute Mountain Ute people. Today we have 16,000 acre feet of water that we have no access to and that we have no infrastructure in place and we are not even compensated for it, yet it sits there decade after decade. Access to clean water in Utah. Access to reliable clean drinking water is a concern for all the tribe's lands, but perhaps none more so than in Utah. As previously mentioned, the tribe has non-contiguous reservation lands in southeastern Utah separate from its reservation lands in southwestern Colorado and New Mexico. White Mesa is the primary tribal community in the Utah portion of the tribe's lands. The tribe and individual tribal citizens also hold trust allotment lands located west and east of White Mesa along Cottonwood Canyon. The current source of water for the majority of the use for the White Mesa community is a deep water aquifer. The White Mesa Uranium Mill is located approximately 2.5 miles north of the White Mesa tribal community. It is the only conventional uranium mill still in operation in the United States. The tribe and its tribal citizens are very concerned about the potential for the mill to infiltrate, to contaminate the aquifers relied upon the tribe for its very water supply. The tribe has spent significant funds to build a water treatment and testing facilities in White Mesa. However, the tribal community is afraid of drinking contaminated water and no will consume it. Presently, the tribe is in discussion with the state engineer of Utah on settling the tribe's water rights in White Mesa. Water quality issues will be a key piece of those discussions and to ensure access to clean water. Drinking water is part of those negotiations. A federal presence in those discussions, including the EPA, is critical to ensure access to clean water for White Mesa and all the Ute Mountain Ute tribal communities. In addition to resources devoted to settling the tribe's water rights, access to technical assistance, funding under Senate Bill 2385 would help ensure unique issues at White Mesa are adequately addressed. We have concerns and we're asking for epidemiology study from the IHS for the Albuquerque region area and also with the state of Utah. Thank you for your consideration of this testimony. We look forward to your 
to our continued work with you to enact legislation to support tribal access to reliable, clean drinking water on the Ute Mountain Ute Reservation lands in Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico. Respectfully submitted, Ute Mountain Ute Tribal Chairman Manuel Hart. Thank you.